everyone, welcome back to Sega Spark Weekend on the Alice Hour. Okay, we went from recording this on September 3rd to September 30th. Literally the next full moon was like yesterday, so. Not intentionally doing this on full moon days, but. I mean, I've, I've just been very busy lately. Started up school again. Don't have a lot of time to do a lot of recordings. So whenever I get the chance, I will do recordings. Alright. So we're going to Tartarus. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Tartarus, block one. So, this Ooh, is excuse it, me, huh? I did not get a lot of sleep. I hope I don't get lost. Can you all hear me? Loud and clear. Whoa, is that you, Senpai? I'll be providing audio backup from here on out. Wait, you, you mean you can see inside here? my persona's ability. I'd like to join you, but the structure of Tartarus changes from day to day. Yes, she is the navigator. That's right why now. outside support is imperative. Well, that makes me feel a whole lot better. Now, based on your current location, you can expect to encounter enemies at any minute. Like right now! They shouldn't be too tough. But proceed with caution. Practice makes perfect. Right. Got it. Why is she always like that? Like what? All right, first floor of Tartarus. All right, let's begin. Keep in mind, these are real battles you'll be engaging in. Now, see if you can eliminate all the shadows wandering around this floor. All right, got some medicine. Nice. There's a shadow right there. Move in and hit it before it attacks you. Press X to use your weapon. I literally just did that. If you can hit an enemy before it hits you, then you'll have the advantage at the start of the battle. Damn it! Did not get the advantage. Takeda has informed me about your power, but nevertheless, you have minimal combat experience. Would you like me to explain the basics of battle? No! Okay, then I want you to defeat the enemy before you. Try using both the skill and attack options. Peanut, stop. It's okay. Someone was closing their car door. You don't have to react, baby. It's okay. It's okay. You attacked the enemy's weak point. Here's a chance. Let's get him. Get back here, you Victory. Peace. All right, there's the stairs. So that basically gets us to the next level, but we need to defeat all the shadows in this floor. All right, if you're able to strike the enemy before you are spotted, then you will gain the initiative. Sorry, I wasn't reading her voice aloud. <laughs> On the other hand, if the enemy hits you first, the opposite will occur. Gotcha, bitch! Now's a good time for me to explain about attack properties, which are important to consider during... Do you want to know more? 
That's all right. The enemies you're facing have a weakness that you can exploit. Why don't you give it a try? I will. Whoop. You exploited the enemy's weakness. By the way, I'm like skipping all the dialogue because I already know how to play this. <laughs> the enemy is vulnerable. Keep going. Here's a chance. Heck, even in my free time, I was playing Persona 3 Portable for a while. That way I could, like, make sure I was uh, well prepared for other things. I got so far ahead that I was like, ah, I'm not going to remember this when I play this on the show. Okay. Looks like there's something over here. Medicine! So far, we don't need any. They can't touch this. There seems to be a shadow just around the corner. Approach carefully to avoid being spotted. The map will prove to be quite useful as you explore, so use it often. Alright, so I can see it. It's that little blip. Oh, you in the butt! I think. It's kind of hard to tell. Were you able to exploit the enemy's weakness in the last battle? Yes, I was. You didn't already notice. Doing so will also grant you an additional attack. I noticed. Would you like more details? Yeah, that's not necessary. Then proceed with the battle. Use what you've learned to quickly dispose of the enemy. Agi for you, Agi for you, and Agi for you. Slowly but surely. A wisely chosen attack. One more. Awesome. You exploited the enemy's weakness. Here's our chance for an all out of Damn right. Ba -da -ba 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 all right. Mysterious cards have appeared in your mind. You wonder if this was what Igor was talking about. After the battle, you will occasionally have the opportunity to select a card from the ones shuffled before your eyes. If you pick a card with a persona on it, then you will receive that persona. There are other cards, which, each of which has a unique effect or reward. Keep an eye on the card you want and try to pick it. So we want Pixie right there. Alright. Okay, I was like, uh, crap, the last part was a little fast. You have welcomed Pixie into your heart. And we leveled up, baby! Your hit points and spare points have increased. You are now able to create personas up to level 3. Oh, hey, where'd it go? Okay, there's another shadow in here. Looks a little on the big side. I detect a shadow up ahead. How are you feeling? If you or another party member is in bad shape, then use healing items prior to engaging the enemy. If you don't have anything on hand, then ask Takeba to heal you. You should make a habit of checking your status before entering into a battle. We're good. Got a little bit of health taken down, it looks like, but I don't know how that happened, but... Oh, give me the butt! I've got fire for all of you guys! You can perform an all-out attack. Would you care to hear more about this? I like as I feel like I've been turning her down more so much. When enemies are thrown off balance, they become vulnerable. An all-out attack will allow your entire team to attack simultaneously. You know, the thing I've been showing you guys constantly. Your enemies will be unable to defend This entire episode. Whether or not you want to perform an all-out attack is up to you. But remember, you cannot perform it when you're alone. So if you want to have it in your arsenal, make sure your team is comprised of at least two members. That's all you need to know about all-out attacks. Then, that concludes the basics of battle. But there's one last thing I need to tell you. Oh? Shadows become stronger the further you advance. 
If you don't think you can win a battle, retreat at once. There may be times, however, when an escape will be impossible. This battle is one of those times. Good luck. All right, so we can't escape this battle. So let's roast their asses. I've got enough uh, SP. And I ain't talking about the Game Boy variety. To the freaking yeah. I mean, this was basically the tutorial of battle, but we did good. All right, it doesn't really matter which one we get this time. I did not even mean to go for that. Huh. I was actually trying to avoid getting Pixie. I should have paid attention to the other things. Yes, <laughs> my skill level has increased. Oh, hey, where'd I go? Keep leveling up. That's odd. Usually there are more shadows on the prowl. Well, at least you gained some experience in battle. Let's go back to the dorm for today. There should be an access port point uh, somewhere on that floor. You can use it to return to the entrance. Since there aren't any enemies to worry about, why don't you split up and search individually? Just tell the other party members what you'd like them to do. Press the square button to issue orders to your allies. Use this command to instruct your party members to spread out and look for stairs, access points, and items. However, if they are not very strong, they can easily fall prey to the enemy. Be sure to keep an eye on their HP. Everyone, spread out and proceed individually. Of course, I'm the one who ran, runs into the dead end. Hey, he found a treasure box. Nice. Damn, Yukari just like found that really quickly. Welcome back. So, how was it? Easy. No problem. I see. Well, if you gained confidence, that's the best thing you could have achieved. Wow, I never knew I had that kind of power. We kicked some ass. But damn, I'm beat. That's because you were bouncing around like a little kid. Yeah, you look pretty You both know that I did the majority of the work here, right? I'm still trying to catch my breath, actually. That's the effect of the dark hour. You'll become fatigued more easily. Don't worry, though. You'll adapt. But I'm surprised. You all did much better than I expected. At this rate, they'll catch up to you in no time, Akihiko. <laughs> we'll see about that. Oh, snap. A mysterious voice rings in your head. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou shalt have our blessing when thou choosest to create a persona of the Fool Arcana. The Sea's social link has reached level 2. Your power to create personas of the Fool Arcana has grown. Neat! From now on, you'll select your party here for before you enter Tartarus. I'll explain the details some other time. Tresbien, you did well today. Now let's head back to the dorm. First things first, I'm gonna space out and go through this door. Well, it looks like to you guys I'm spacing out. 
Ah, there you are. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Well, I suppose it's time for me to explain what I really do here. It is my job to create new personas. But in order to do so, I must fuse your persona cards together. In other words, I shall merge them into a single persona. The number of personas you have buried within you is approximately 170. Hot damn! We've never seen a visitor with this many possibilities before. If you establish social links, you may be able to create even stronger personas too. <laughs> this should prove very interesting. So as you accumulate cards, please bring them to me. How may I help you? Ah, I don't want to butcher her voice. Well, we can't really fuse anything. All we got is Pixie and uh, our main persona, so. I look forward to your next visit. Uh, let's see here. How do I... Okay, here we go. Pixar! Okay. Hmm. Okay, restores SP, 50%, boom, okay. I was just checking out some stuff. Let me save real quick. Eh, hey, I can do this one. Yeah. Okay. So let's head back to the dormitory. It'll be the next day when you stop exploring and return to the dorm. Ah. Felt like I got a piece of popcorn kernel stuck in my tooth. Hate when that happens. Let's all go to sleep. Let's all go to sleep. We are all very tired because holy crap, you guys. Hey, you're me yoga, right? Who are you? Man, I knew it. I heard from Junpei that you're pretty close with Yukari-san. What's up with that? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I'm looking for someone with a little more experience anyway. By the way, I'm Kenji Tamachika. There's a morning assembly, so we better hurry. He's into older women is what he means. That concludes the main portion of today's assembly. Next, we'll hear a word from the student council. Please welcome the new president, Mitsuru Kirijo, from Class 3D. It looks like she's coming Thanks. right at us, guys! Get 3D. So, she did get elected. Well, I guess she is the most popular girl in school. You can say that again. There's like some kind of aura around her. Besides, this school's owned by the Kirijo group, right? Yeah, I try not to think about that. Okay. As I begin my term as student council president, I'd like to share with you my vision for this coming year. It is my firm belief that each of us must accept the responsibility of bettering our school. However, Change cannot occur without sustained effort and an unprecedented level of commitment. That is why we must restructure our daily lives to accommodate this lofty goal. I'd like each of you to dig deeply into your well of motivation and reevaluate your convictions. To imagine a bold new future without losing sight of the realities around you. That is the key. I'm certain that many of you have your own visions of the future. For us to reap the full benefits of our education, your participation, ideas, and enthusiasm are essential. Thank you. Woo! Dang, that was freaking amazing. 
So, do you have any idea what you just said? Sorry if you didn't mean to freak you out with my clapping. <laughs> my bad, baby. Sure didn't sound like something a high schooler would say. If it was anyone else, we'd be laughing our asses off. Afternoon. All right, today we will be going over Meiji era literature. Open your textbooks to page 12. You know what? I'm tired of these textbooks. I just went over this novel in the last class. I got a great poem we can cover instead. Close your textbooks, everyone, and listen. Isolated clouds suspended over the tall, snowy mountain peak. You feel tired. Close your eyes for a few minutes. Stay awake. All right, Kenji, you better not be sleeping back there. You should be ashamed of yourself taking a nap while I pour my heart into reading this poem. For that, you get another essay along with your regular assignment tonight. I'll expect a slice of cake when you turn it in, too. Damn! And don't cheap out with the store. Bought stuff like last time. How often does this happen? You stayed up and listened to the lecture. Your academics have increased. Neat. Class has ended for today. As of today, you'll be able to use your time after school as you wish. Yay! Freedom! If you have established social links, you may wish to spend time with those individuals. Also, there are many places you can go in the area to raise your charm, courage, and academics. Be sure to look around in town as well as in the school. And there's Junpei over there. Dude, Misuru Senpai's speech this morning was crazy. I heard no one was even close to her in the election. Considering her background, I don't know why they bothered. Let's face it, we're all just plain ordinary compared to her, man. Where's Yukari? What's up, dude? Dude, another gorgeous day. I should go out for a jog before practice. Awesome. Hi there. Do you tend to get lost in school? No. What happens if I say yes? Where are you hit where are you headed? Uh oh, okay. Um Faculty office, I guess. Oh, so she's just giving you directions, okay. Alright, so we can basically just go wherever we want right now. Freedom! Fangirls! Fangirls everywhere! Have you noticed how popular Akihiko-san is with the ladies? Man, take a look at that. I didn't used to talk to him much, but now I've got a good excuse. I know, he's the captain of the boxing team, but who would have thought he'd be such a chick magnet? I mean, come on. You don't even see girls flock like that on TV. I wonder where they're going. Not a clue. Wait for us. Hey, are you guys free this afternoon? Hell yeah. What you got in mind? I want the two of you to meet me at Polonia Mall. All right. You know where it is, right? I'll be at the police station. See you there. The 
The police station? You mean we're not hanging out with your friends? Who, these girls? I don't even know their names. They talk so much they give me a headache. Anyway, I'm You're saying that right in front of them, man! <laughs> I'm being rude about it. Oh, why can't he be more friendly? <sighs> but that's what makes him so cool. Man, how can he not know their names? I mean, seriously, just look at them. Generic fangirl number one, oh, generic well, fangirl number two, generic go. fangirl number three, and generic fangirl number four. Alright, you decide to head over there. Oh, we're not just gonna zip on by. Oh, hey, Junpei's by my side, cool. Follow me, mon ami. All right. So we're going over here. The police station over here. This seems to be the police station. Enter. These are the guys I was talking about earlier. So up. I was waiting for you guys. This is Officer Kurosawa. He helps keep our squad well equipped. And this is from Ikutsuki san. Really? Sweet! You and Jupei each received 5,000 yen! You can't fight empty handed, so find something you like. Officer Kurosawa has connections, but these things still cost money. Of course they do. Nothing in life is free. I realize that. Well, I'll see you later. Thanks again. I've been informed about you too. My job is to maintain peace in this city, regardless of the circumstances. I'm just an ordinary police officer, but it doesn't take a genius to know something strange is going on here. I'm only doing what I think is right. Rock on! I don't have that much, but you should be able to find what you need. Uh, we should probably buy some armor. Okay, let's see here. Dang, that's an increase. Take that. Yes, equip. And a camo shirt. Alright, we have 1500 yen left. Anything we can buy here? No, we do not have enough to buy anything here. And after we make some more money, we'll come back here and buy another blade. Psh, only 5,000 yen? I'm gonna take off since I'm in a bad mood now. It's 5,000 yen! Pretty damn generous! Let's see here. I don't think I can enter there yet. Are you here for the arcade? If you want to know about the games here, I can tell you all about them. Sure. Hey, there's Jack Frost up there! Yeah! Mascot! Today you can play either Horror House or Mole Whackers. Horror House is pretty scary if you last more than a few minutes in there. Your courage goes up. Mole Whackers tests your twitch reflexes so it increases your, your speed. That about covers it. Game on, bitches! Here you can spend time in shops such as these. Depending on where you go, you may be able to raise your charm, courage, or academics. And apparently speed. 
Yes! No! Damn it! I am poor! I can't afford it! Oof, it's already been a half an hour, huh? Hmm. Is there anything we can do at the shrine yet? Dude! I have to take the long ass way to get to the shrine! I could have gone across the bridge! Hello, young man! My, my! You look like a pleasant little boy! Thank you. What are you doing in a shrine, though? You don't look like the prayerful, prayerful type. Me? Well, I've come a long way to pray to the god here. He's a strong one. The offertory box and the written oracle are both good for your fortune. Then there's Inari-san by the red gates. Woo! Some crazy things might happen if you pray to him. But you have to pray for a long time. It's no problem for me, but some people's schedules are too busy. By leaving money in the offertory box, your academics will increase. If you're in great condition, the increase will be even higher. Time will pass. Yeah, sure. Alright, academics have increased. Cool. I know I could have done a couple of social links, but Welcome I decided back. just to do random crap. <laughs> Perfect timing, I'd like to speak to you for a moment regarding our exploration of Tartarus. Akihiko is still on the men, so for now, I'd like you to lead the team. You never know when a powerful enemy might appear, like the one you faced the other day. It's best to be, pre be prepared, or else you may find yourself in a difficult situation. So whenever you'd like to explore Tartarus, just let me know, and I'll gather everyone here there. Also, since I'm sure there are other things you will need to take care of, you may go out at night if you need to. Well, that's it. Keep up the good work. Alright, we're now able to go out at night. So let's save right now. I am just double checking right now that I've been recording. <laughs> I was like, huh, that would suck if I wasn't recording this whole time. All right, and we will continue this next time. See you guys soon for more Persona 3 Fez.